Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello Indonesia. My name is Vin Yulia Marwati. Just call me Vin. I'm the student of Trunajaya University Madura and now I'm the fourth semester of management department. Before explaining my proposal, I would like to open by telling you a story about why I choose this topic. At the very first time, I was so disappointed when I look at my friend that they are really proud to say I'm a college student, even they don't have any sense to read, study, or learn. Whereas we know that study, learning, and reading are the basic activity that should be done as a college student. If this condition happens continuously, I can't imagine what will happen to this country in the future. We live in the 21st era. In this era, of course, we have known more what is globalization, right? In the process of globalization, there are so many countries that are really capable to compete with others. Whether you are a developed country or developing country, it's not matter. As long as you have to join the process of globalization, means you have to follow the flow. <coughs> and the question is, is Indonesia ready to follow the flow of globalization? As the young generation of Indonesia, realize that actually this country is not ready yet to follow the flow of globalization, remembering such kind of problem that still happen in this country. Such kind, the problem of economic, the problem of politics, the problem of technology, human resource development, or even the problem of education, that actually should be qualified worse if you want to compete with other countries. As Nelson Mandela ever said, that education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. So do I, I believe it. Means, if Indonesia want to compete with other, Indonesia should improve the quality of education to have a power of competitiveness. Ladies and gentlemen, National Constitution number 20, year 2003, about national system education. There are three kinds of system education. First is normal, formal education, non-formal education, and informal education. Formal education, there are basic level education, junior level education, high level education, and college or university. Some experts believe that golden generation are they who are studying in the basic, junior, and high education. But me, as the writer of this scientific paper, believe that golden generation are they who are studying in the college, or we call them as college students. Why? Because college students are potential. They are also in the productive age. Besides, they also are reliable to be the partner of government in developing this country. Once again, college students are reliable to be the partner of government in developing this country. But look at the data given by Central Bureau of Statistics about the unemployment coming from bachelor degree. In 2015, there are 5.34%, and it is increased in 2016, become 6. 0.22 percent unemployment coming from bachelor degree. It is a much for me as a young generation to see how is how much the number of unemployment coming from bachelor degree, whereas they have studied for about 3.5 until 4 years in the university, but after graduated they still become unemployment. I myself realized that unemployment is not only the only measurement of the value education in this country, but at least it shows us about how is the quality of college students in this country. Besides looking at the number of unemployment, we will say the same that the quality of college students in this country is still left behind if we compare with the students in abroad. Because we know that the sense of reading, the sense of learning, studying, and other activity is still poor. We based on the reason, that's why I as a young generation believe that we need a reconstruction in the process of study in the university. And I'm as the writer of the scientific paper would like to propose rediscussion learning as the problem solving for this problem. Rediscussion learning is the abbreviation of read, discussion, making video, and organization that I believe it will increase the spirit of reading and studying of the college students. And furthermore, it will increase the quality of education and increase the quality of competition for this country, and I hope it can be applied in all university in Indonesia. That's all for me. That's I say thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.